Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today we've got my predictions for the final league table of the Scottish Premiership. Now if you want me to do an English Premiership prediction then I'll do one next week because the season does, down south doesn't start till next week uh, in England for the Premier League. But anyway, we're going to start because I've got a little bit of time at the moment, I'm just going to go through, through a wee short video. So I'm going to go top six first. Uh, <coughs> obviously I, I think Celtic are going to win the league because like literally there's no one that can compete with them financially. So obviously Celtic's going to win them, win the league. Then second I'm going to go for Aberdeen because you know Aberdeen they they were so unlucky last night when they played Maribor. The referee was completely shy. Uh, of course Graham Shinney had to score that own goal. I mean, that's that's just football for you. I mean, sometimes you get screwed over by re by bad refereeing. I mean, last last game I refereed, I was completely shite. So, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you win some, you lose some, and then, of course, you get short shy of a couple hundred grand because your team can't win against a team in Europe when you could easily have won. I mean, apparently in the first leg, Aberdeen were absolutely all over Maribor, then conceded, then equalised later on, so what can you say? Then third, I'm going to go for Hearts, because, I mean, last season they were fantastic, I mean, they held, they held their own, I mean, it's not every season that a team gets promoted from the championship and finishes third. I mean, that, that's quite a good start for them back in the Premiership after a season out. Then fourth, I'm going to go for Rangers. I don't think they're good enough to challenge for the league just yet. I mean, when they played against us, the first 20 minutes or so, they were completely rotten. The defence was all over the place, and that's why they, I, in my opinion, they will not finish in the top three, because their defence needs to be sorted, but however, later on in the, in the match when they played against us, their defence got better as the game went on as the game went on in my opinion then fifth I'm gonna go for Motherwell again because last season I predicted we'd finish fourth and we finished fifth so but I think I think if we keep a hold on to Marvin Johnson and Louis Moult then we we there's no reason we can't finish in the top five because Marvin Johnson he gets better every game and I like the I like the look of the new signings we've made, such as Carl McHugh, very calm with the ball, passes, is a good passer of the ball. We've got Richard Tate, a right back. I mean, he's been really good so far. Even though we have played three lower league opposite uh, teams in competitive matches, however, if we if we keep the good, because we've got good charisma at the moment, and if the team keeps well well collected and gets on well as a team. There's no reason why we can't finish in the top six at least. Then sixth, I'm gonna go for St. Johnson because St. Johnson, everyone always predicts them to have a shit season and then all of a sudden they finish in the top six out of the, out of the blue. I mean, they're so consistent and that's what you've got to respect about St. Johnson because like the last two or three seasons I predicted them to have a really poor season so maybe this season they'll finish top six again. Then in the bottom six, I'm gonna go for uh, top of the top of the small pile. I'm gonna go for Ross County because Ross County have always been cons consistent. And apart from that one season two years ago when they finished, they they they, fin they were bottom for mo for most of the season, and then all of a sudden they picked it up. It got got consistently good again and then they won what seven or eight games in the last 12 or 13 so and then they carried it on until this the start of last season so I, I expect Ross County to be about mediocre mid table they might they might even sneak into the top six eighth I'm gonna go for Partick Thistle because I don't know I genuinely don't know so it's best to predict a team to finish mid table instead of saying oh they're gonna go down when you when you know nothing about them. Ninth I'm gonna go for Inverness because mainly based on the fact that they've got a new manager 
Richie Thornton. Although they played some good football in the Betfred Cup, they scored seven against our both. But the fact that Richie Thornton is inexperienced and he's on a four-year contract, I'm just a wee bit doubtful, you know, because he's only just like let properly left the playing scene. I think Cause I don't, I don't, I don't even know if he's retired yet. Let me know in the comments. But I have no idea. But I, I just genuinely think Inverness will finish ninth because because of the lack of experience in the management team. Tenth, we're gonna go for Hamilton Ackies because. Literally, everyone predicts them to get rele relegated every year, but they keep managing to stay up for some bizarre reason. It's annoying as a Motherwell fan because it's always fun seeing your rivals uh, get beat and stuff like that, but genuinely, I, I don't think Aki's will uh, get it, finish any higher than 10th. 11th is interesting because I'm going to say Dundee because they've, they've lost, I mean, they've told Gary Harkins to piss off. And they've lost Kane Hemmings for 250k to Oxford, and those are the two main influential players that, in my opinion, Dundee had last season. Now, of course, they've they've signed El Bakhtoui, but one one player can't improve a team. It's got to be the whole team has to ba basically get get their arses whipped into shape. But I, I'm sorry, Jamie especially. I'm saying. Dundee are going to finish in the playoff spot and they'll probably play Dundee United, in my opinion, from the championship. And of course, bottom is Kilmarnock. I mean, from what I've heard, Kilmarnock were, had a really poor pre-season. Uh, we didn't have a good pre-season either, but, but uh, Kilmarnock didn't even qualify for the next round of the Betfred Cup. I mean, they lost in penalties to Albion Rovers at home. They lost against Green at Morton at home. Didn't win a game at home in the Betfred Cup, which was which was surprising, I'll just say. But Kilmarnock haven't really shown that they they are capable of surviving this season because now there's Rangers in, in the league as well, which, which means that it's highly unlikely that they'll go down. And now that Kilmarnock seem favourites to be to, to get relegated, although technically after having a playoff scare last year. They should be more vigilant and try to, or, and at least win their first few games of the season. But seeing as they're playing us tomorrow, you never know. Anyway guys, that's my prediction video. Uh, I'm sorry if I've not explained my reasoning behind most of it, uh, but yeah. It's time to go and support your team. The season kicks off, no longer a dream. New strips designed and pulled overhead. It's easier on Saturdays to get out of bed. Wake up, sobby bollocks, it's football day! Supporters turn up to their favourite place. The teams come out and all embrace. Rain, sun or snow, we cheer on our team. Thoughts on our way home, what might have been. Just one lucky shot into the net makes a rubbish game fantastic, even when wet. So come on the well, they are my team. Let's do our best in 1617.